Hey, I won! Ah! Nateboarding.com. Nateboarding! <laughs> you need to start. That's actually how the video starts immediately with us just la- Alright. Nateboarding! Who hasn't heard of Nateboarding? He's a fellow content creator here on YouTube, creating videos on Smash Bros and many other things. And, 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 he also has a music career, which you should go listen to, link on Spotify. You can also find his merch store link in the description as well. Nate Boarding, he, he's the guy, he's the guy of all times. You know, remember that time he slayed the demon god, J -J Jeff? <laughs> Let's just continue the video, shall we? The, Let's... Di the Diary of a Wimpy Kid, God King of the Universe. <laughs> diary of a Wimpy Kid, God King of the Universe, Sharag Gupta. Oh. It has been almost two years since I made the original version of the Nate Boarding Smash Kit, and I had no intentions of remaking it, at least not from scratch. It was a perfect kit, perfect, everything perfect, down to the last minute detail perfect. And I was, why would I touch perfection? Yeah, why would I touch it? He had an idea. Nateboarding himself came up with an idea that was so damn good. I just had to do it. I just have to do it. Just do it. How many memes can we put in this video? So this is normally the part of the video where I'd be saying, let's rewrite Nateboarding because this is technically a rewrite kit of sorts. However, there's only one way we can start this video. Nateboarding! It's me. The best ever. Your favorite Smash Bros. YouTuber you've ever seen. Um, the, I, I'm here. Hey, what's up? You're supposed to say the line. Bush did 9 11. No! <laughs> so, what if Nate Boarding joined Smash Bros.? <gasps> Nate boarding. <laughs> I hope you know that's gonna cut before you turn your head. You know that, right? Like, as soon as I do this, it's, it's gonna, gonna cut into the. It's end. gonna do title card, then it's gonna cut back to me being like, "All right, <laughs> yeah, all right, cool." So, so, like I said in the intro segment, I had no intentions of remaking the Smash Kit, at least not from scratch. The video, maybe, perchance. The video sucks. The original one. You want to see hear me stutter? Here's me stuttering. And it will finish off with a jump kick into the air. Stuttering compilation. Ah! Uh, but, Nate Borden here. The genius man he is. Had an idea. And Nate Borden, tell him your idea. So basically, I wanted to do a tier list of all my mains, but I wanted to wait till I played more games and got more mains, so I decided what if I put all my mains into a Smash Kit together. And now we're here. Mm-hmm. And we made the most broken Smash kit you've ever seen. Yeah, it's... It's overpowered. His power levels are over 9,000. Anyways, um... <laughs> What's next in the script? So I bet you're wondering, um... Nate Boarding, if you're so incredible and awesome, what mains are you actually going to be using? Well, uh, in case you're unfamiliar with who I am, um, I play mainly Smash and Tekken right now. Um, I am moving on to more fighting games, but Smash and Tekken are the two main ones. Uh, in Smash, I main, I co-main Jigglypuff and Mr. Game & Watch. Gabriel, I'm forcing you to edit these guys right here. I've done it before, it's fine. And I also have a secondary of Wii Fit Trainer. Um, and then in Tekken, I play- That makes a lot more sense than usually how much we used it. Yeah, actually. <laughs> uh, and then in Tekken, I play this bad boy right here. This is a luchador wearing a jaguar mask and he speaks jaguar. By the way, he's not a jaguar. He's a human being. He's Mexican. Um, how people understand him? I don't know. That's just Tekken being Tekken. This is King right here. He's a grappler. He likes to grab people and throw them to the ground. And it's really awesome because Tekken players, they love to complain that the grappler grapples but won't learn how to break grabs. Just learn how to break the grabs. You're just bad. This is a great intro. This is a great video. Starting off with a Tekken player diss track. <laughs> Due to all this main combination and other references you'll see throughout the kit, we couldn't make a kit without putting Hall and I in it, correct? Of course. Oh, obviously. <laughs> that's my game. That's... Yeah, that's, that's his thing. Um, so, Nate is going to be a jack of all trades of sorts. 
He's gonna have a logic to his moveset. It's gonna be... Why are you looking at me like that? I don't know what... <laughs> Uh, he's gonna have a lot going on for his kit. Like we said, it's overpowered. It's... It's... It's a, it's a kit. It's, it's a kit, to say the least. It is one of the kits of all time. It, it is the kit of my Smash list, and I made myself. <laughs> so... Skateboarding 2 will go down in history as... Please never actually put this in a real game. <laughs> it, really? Your it's, game will be ruined. <laughs> it's busted. But, skateboarding will be a jack-of-all-trades of sorts. I am with, the meta. With too much in his moveset. Um, in terms of actual Smash Bros. archetypes, um, I believe he's a mix-up and balanced fighter, which that's... I don't think balance is the word. Balanced? Okay, according to the Reddit post, you're a balanced fighter, but you're not balanced. Okay, Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. R slash nateboarding? Perchance. That hasn't been used in, like, actually years. Oh my god, it... There's an R slash nateboarding. I know what we gotta do. Join the subreddit today. Ah! Let's reactivate it. it and been... merch store, link in the description. Nateboarding.com! Oh! Um, oh, it's right here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is gonna be a pain in the ass to edit. For this kit, nateboarding is gonna be a lightweight character like last time, but just like last time, he'll also be insanely fast. Speedrunner, back in his days. The GOAT. The GOAT. Three world records in Baldi's basic clothes. Not anymore, but I did. Hey, he had them. And didn't you have one in a golf game, too? Yep, golf with your friends. <laughs> For like, what was it, an hour? Yeah, something like that. I don't know. Anyways, he will have two jumps and no additional movement options. Because... Any wall jump? Are there walls? <laughs> I don't know. It's your turn, by the way. Oh, so now we're going to be splitting up the extra sections and moving on to the next stuff. <laughs> and he got transitioning and go like... So, what did I, did I say? The you, said, you said the extra sections. We're splitting, up up the, we're splitting up the extra sections and putting it into the extra stuff. This is the extra stuff section. Exit, go! <laughs> Nateboarding's stage entrance has him appear in a flash of light, as if he used the Dreamgate ability in Hollow Knight. For his up taunt, Nateboarding will perform King's Victory animation, having him point his finger upwards in a powerful stance. His side taunt will have him pull out a microphone, but instead of singing random notes, he'll sing parts of his various songs. And his down taunt will stay the same from the original kit, having him show off his subscribe to Nateboarding sign, which you should totally do, link in the description. As for Nateboarding's alts, I kept a similar idea from last time, but this time with more emphasis on his merch lines. With that said, his default will be an outfit based on his prototype line, the OG merch line, the one that started the whole thing. His second alt will be an outfit based on his After Hours line. His third alt is an outfit based on his Retro merch line. It is his channel's aesthetic right now, after all. His fourth ult is an outfit based on his Movieville University line, a personal favorite of mine. His fifth ult is an outfit based on his Chicago Human line, with some references to famous wrestler CM Punk. His sixth ult will be his Cafe Hotline 2022 outfit. His seventh ult will be the outfit he wore on the Alaska album. And his 8th ult will be a special ult based on his primary smash main, Jigglypuff, including the hat he uses. And for his victories, Nateboarding's first can once again reference CM Punk, being one of his entrances. His second can be the Vote Alaska victory from the OG kit, having a banner reading Vote Alaska hung up before Nateboarding shows up with a purple heart. And his final can have him walk onto a black screen, then pull the string and walk away, with the sign showing his planet Nateboarding sign and reading, Sorry, we're closed. So starting off with my basic moves, we have Jab. Jab is just Game & Watch's jab, the one with the little firework where you're like, bop, 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 like that, and then it ends off with a big explosion one. Next up is Forward Tilt. Forward Tilt is also one of Game & Watch's moves. His forward tilt being the little chair move where he takes a chair and he, like that. I love the chair move. It comes out instantly and it's awesome. So I like up tilt a lot. So I play a 2009 Chinese Street Fighter fan game um, where the story is just Terminator 2, I think. 
Um, and my up tilt is um, from one of my mains, uh, Mian Huan Tung. Um, sorry for the horrible pronunciation. I don't speak Chinese. Um, but I take her umbrella and then basically just swing it up forwards. <laughs> down tilt. Guess what? It's Game & Watch again. Did you, <laughs> could, you, could you figure that one out? Yeah, down, down tilt's Game & Watch. It's this little manhole cover thing where he's like, boop, like that. Oh, yeah. It's also awesome. It comes out instantly and it, like, sends you out at a weird angle. Dash attack is what I like to call the shoulder check. Um, it's basically just Jigglypuff's dash attack, except it kills at, like, 60. And it's my favorite move in the entire kit. It's awesome. So for side smash, we're actually taking this back to King from Tekken. I'm taking his rolling sub out move, um, where basically he does like a little spin kick, uh, spinning heel kick. Um, it will have very average range, but it will do incredible damage. Uh, great follow up tool, um, great edge guarding, decent edge guarding, um, and just just an overall very very incredible move. <laughs> so going back to my original smash kit, my up smash is going to go back to um, Hollow Knight with the Howling Raves ability. Um, incredible um, range upwards, incre uh, great side hitboxes, uh, decent side hitboxes. Um, it can send you out of weird angles. Um, it's just an overall great move. However, it does kind of put me in like a stun situation where it's like if I miss, then my entire body is um, vulnerable. And down smash, down smash. You want to get? You want to guess who's down smash? I got. I got. I, um, let's think here. Uh, mm, Game and watches. It's okay. Pop. It's okay. Diddy Kong. It's okay. I chose Game and Watch. I chose Game and Watch. That's it. I took his down smash. His little hammers. It's really cool. Uh, if you get the sour spot, it sends you at a weird angle. Um, does decent damage. If you hit the sweet spot, it grounds you, uh, which is my favorite part of it. Oh, no, uh, he's got another grounding move. I have another grounding move. God, uh, it. This. I want Game & Watch's down smash. Now moving on to his aerials, Kneeboarding's neutral air will actually pull from a different fighter, that being Mead Swordfighter. He could also use an enlarged nail like in Hollow Knight. The forward air is actually going to be the one from the original kit, with him slashing a Minecraft pickaxe down, and yes, it's going to keep the spiking capabilities. The back air is coming from another fighter, this time being Diddy Kong. His up air will once again pull from Mr. Game & Watch with all of its crazy range. And his down air can pull from his last smash main, that being Wii Fit Trainer. As if he didn't need any more powerful aerials. So a basic grab and pummel, um, it's just going to be a standard grab and then just a single punch pummel. Um, you could do it up to three times. Uh, yeah, just very basic move, not taken from anything, it's just, it's just a normal pummel. So for forward throw, we're actually going to keep the original forward throw from the kit, which is just the um, grabbing and then throwing into a baseball bat, um, because I'm like that. Um, <laughs> let's go Mets. Love the Mets. All right, baby, let's go get a home run, baby. Love the Mets. Let's go Mets. So for my back throw, I'm actually taking from a wrestling move that I would actually like to do uh, in real life that I think I came up with. Um, I always came up with it on my own. Um, and it is a move called the Shooting Star Power Bomb. Basically, it is a gut wrench 180 power bomb. Um, where basically, yeah, you have them in the gut wrench, bring them up, rotate, and then power bomb down. Now that's gonna be back throw. So my up throw also comes from the original kit. Um, kind of as like a King thing, also like a CM Punk thing. Um, basically, up throw is simply just going to be grab, throwing upwards, and then um, a knee into the opponent, which will launch uh, the opponent upwards. So my down throw is also going to come from um, wrestling as well. It's just going to be, uh, instead of the shooting star power bomb, it's just going to be a normal power bomb. And it's going to do a whole lot of damage. A whole lot of damage. <laughs> Y'all ready for the quickest special section ever made? Let's go! For Nate Boarding's neutral special, he wields a gun. No, I'm not kidding. He's got a gun. Specifically <laughs> the Gen 2 Clock 17. Well, how will this move work? It's just Joker's. It, it literally is just Joker's neutral special, like straight up. The Glock 17 can basically be used in any situation. You're on the floor, use the gun. In the air, use the gun. You just threw one, he wields a gun. <laughs> Glock 17 might just be Joker's gun, but now it's better due to the nateboarding branding, which obviously makes it better. As for nateboarding side special, it's gonna be Jigglypuff's pound special. Pound is a powerful but short-ranged punch. It comes out quick and moves nateboarding forward a fair amount. It can be used to recover a bit too. This is basically just a good move for him, no further notes. 
As for his up special, it will once again pull from Mr. Game & Watch, one final time, and be fire. While this move doesn't do a whole lot of damage, it will send a boring far upwards, making it a great recovery option. It might be a simple recovery option, but God is it a good one. And for his down special, it will definitely not be rest. Nope, not at all. It will totally not have Neighboarding fall asleep and do a crap ton of damage if the opponents are hit by it. Nope, not at all. It kills it at 40. <laughs> it, do it doesn't kill at 40, I swear. Up air rest does not kill at 40. <laughs> I mean, that would be insane, right? And like, imagine if this final smash was even more busted. Oh, wait. So for the final smash, what if I took two of the main things from this kit, Jigglypuff and CM Punk, and put them together? This is not the go to sleep. This is not the rest. This is the go to rest. Go to rest is one of my favorite moves I think I have just ever seen ever. So basically for the final smash, it will entail me putting someone in a fireman's carry like a normal go to sleep, and then me throwing them very high up in the air. Then being followed up by Mr. Game & Watch coming up, swinging out the Judge attack and hitting a 9, sending you even higher in the air, and then Jigglypuff comes in and hits you with a rest, sending you even higher into the air, to which we Fit Trainer is sitting at the top and delivers a down air, spiking you all the way to the bottom, you flying down horizontally, landing face first directly into my knee like a go to sleep by CM Punk, um, which will then send you flying out as well, uh, dealing 69%, which yes, that does mean that dash attack will kill afterwards. Um, so yeah, final final smash dash attack is a confirmed kill. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's, that's what this kid has come to. Final smash dash attack kills at zero. <laughs> Oh, it does. Um, yeah, so pretty much this move will be uh, absolutely devastating to anyone that gets hit by it. Um, of course, you, of course, subscribe to Nateboarding, which you can find right here. Also, if you miss the final smash, uh, you're, you get stunned, like, if, like, your shield broke. Um, so that's, like, the only, like, downside to, I think, like, the entire kit, I think. <laughs> What and with that Nate said, Boarding joins Smash Brothers again. What if Nate Boarding joins Smash? <laughs> no, I mean again. Oh. <laughs> this wasn't a fun kit to make, right, Nate Boarding? Yeah, it was awesome. You should step up. You're like, it looks like I'm overshadowing you. So, anyways, oh, wow, this actually looks a lot better. How about that? Wow! Who would have thunk? Um. So this was a fun kit. Um. It's the harder part about recording this non-sequentially is I don't have any qu closing thoughts because yeah, I'm nowhere I, near done. I have no clue what we're talking about. Yeah, so um, this was a fun kit. Was it? Com. No. <laughs> Outro, boom, perfect. <laughs> was, it, was it busted? Was the kit busted? Easily, too. <laughs> Let's think about it. What's a, can we get a, a busted move lit counter real quick? How many busted moves are there? There's this many busted moves in the in the entire kit right here. There's it's, this one, this one, this one, and this one. I'm not editing all that. Was that the bite of 87? Nickboarding.com. Ah, okay, so we gotta record the rest of the video. If you couldn't tell, we're recording this non con, con, con I've been here for three hours. You, no, you haven't. We've been here for two. We're like five. <laughs> ah, um, so we're gonna go ahead and sign out. This is the most busted kid I've ever made, and it's his fault. You're welcome. And I'm fine with that. The next busted kit will be Woody from Toy Story. He's... And then Gru from Despicable Me. And then... George H.W. Bush. <laughs> what sorry, sorry to leak that information, but oh, he's coming. Hey, that was, that was, that was safe. 2026. Hillary Clinton from Ready to Rumble. Oh God, Jesus. Michael Jackson from Ready to Rumble. I'm gonna dance all over you. That's not a bad idea. A Michael Jackson smash kit. I'm gonna dance all, all over right. you. All right. After time. I'm gonna dance all over you. So, with all that said, thank y'all for watching. You're welcome. Thank you for watching. Thank you, everyone, for devoting your time and day 
and service into watching this YouTube video on youtube.com. Mm -hmm. And also going to nateboarding.com and giving- Which is his merch page. And going and give, putting your mom's credit card information into the little box and buying a sick little shirt. I'm not wearing one right now, I should be. You should have, <coughs> I'm disappointed um, in you. But you can also- uh, You can Photoshop it in. Look at this shirt right here. And oh. this shirt and this shirt. Oh. And also, Sure. Wow, very cool design. I know. Very <laughs> wait, awesome. wait, just play the same shirt. Nateboarding.com. Nateboarding.com. You could also go to find him on YouTube, which is also just Nateboarding. YouTube.com at Nateboarding, period. And then you have Spotify and SoundCloud. I'm Nateboarding on all music platforms. Um, I'm Nateboarding on pretty much all platforms except Instagram at not Nateboarding. Uh, you can find him on Twitch. At Nateboarding, uh, twitch.tv forward slash Nateboarding live. Uh -huh. I haven't gone live in like two years, but. Actually, why? You did. I went on YouTube. Yeah. Um, so that's your plugging done. It's time for my plugging. This is your channel. <laughs> my plug. You don't have to leave. <laughs> I'm plugging my stuff. Um, if you want to watch the entirety of the Smash Bros. Theory Kit series, from Larry Boy all the way down to both Nateboarding kits, you can check the link in the description. It's going to be there. Uh, I'll link the original Nate Boarding kit in the description, too, if you really want to hear that. Um, we're going to have two videos pop up here on the side. Over Gabriel's face is the Larry Boy kit. And over my face is the original Nate Boarding kit. So this is the real outro now. Great. Uh, with that said, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out. Don't do drugs. Except... <laughs>